Once you've done all your tasks and things that you need to do for the day, you'd like something to tell you that you've done it or at least see some progress as to how close you are. In this video, I'm going to show you some different ways you can use formulas to tell you that information in Notion, and we're starting right now. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay part of the conversation. For free Notion templates, check out the link in the description below. For this example, I'm going to use daily habits that you may be ticking off as you go through the day. So the first one may be cleaning your teeth, so we're going to use the teeth emoji in the column. The second one may be exercising, so we're going to use an exercise emoji. And then the third one's going to be drinking water to make sure you're hydrated throughout the day. So the first formula you can use to check that you've done them all is by putting the properties in and essentially just counting them. So we're going to use and, property 1, property 2, and, property 3. Now all it's doing is just counting whether it's ticked or not. And when they're all ticked you can see it will be ticked. If they're not all ticked then the box will stay unchecked. Another way to do this is by counting the amount of check boxes you've done. So we're going to turn those properties into a number by using two number. We're going to add that to the next property. And add that to the next property. And now you can see we've got 0, 2, 3 and that is just counting the amount of ticks we've got in those boxes. Now we could do something very similar to this and just count the amount of boxes we've got left. So I'm going to copy that formula, paste it in, and take away from 3 because that's the amount of habits we've got. And you can see we've got a minus number. Now you could keep it like that, or you could actually change it by putting ABS at the beginning of the formula. And what that will do is just make it an absolute, which turns it positive. So you can see we've got 3 left, 1 left, and none left. What we can also do with that number is we can copy that formula. Turn it into a text string by using the format function. And then we're going to add a slash in the middle, so it's going to show the number. Then a slash, and then three because that's how many habits we've got. And you can see now we've got zero done out of three, two done out of three, and three done out of three. You may want to see your progress as a percentage, so we're still going to use that two number property to turn the property into a number. And then we're going to divide it by 3, because again, that's how many habits we've got, and times it by 100. That then turns it into a percentage, so you can see we've got 0, 66.66 .66 recurring, and 100. Now I personally don't like that big long decimal, so we're going to round that number, just so we have a whole number. Now I want to add a percentage sign on the end, so I can put plus percentage in speech marks, but I need to turn the rest of it into a string, so I'm going to use the format function. Now we've got the number and the percent next to it. Using a combination of numbers and words, you can create whatever display you want. So we're going to use that done formula again by calculating the number, asking if it's equal to zero, and if it is, I want it to say get started because we haven't done any tasks yet. If that's not true, then I want to see if we've completed all the tasks. So we're going to use the AND function. Ask that as a question, and if that's true, then put completed. But if that's not true, then I want to know how many I've got left. So I'm going to use that number again, so we're going to copy and paste. And because the two answers we currently have are in text, we need to change that number to a text by using the format. Then we want to go 3 minus however many we've got left, and you can see now we've got three different outputs. We've got get started, completed, and the number that we've got left. And because this is a formula, we can add whatever text string we want on the end of that, so I'm going to put to go. And I'm going to put a space in there just so the number doesn't get mushed with the letters. Maybe you want something more like a progress bar to see how far you've got. If that's the case, check out this video over here, and I'll see you there.